Let me introduce you to the micro SaaS called Blue Dot. It was founded by Russ Haloff with other co-founders, and it's a simple AI-powered Google Chrome extension that does $3,000 a month in recurring revenue. So we'll be diving into the story of this product, how they came up with the idea, how they validated their product, how they launched their product, as well as what the product does. I'll also be covering the best growth hack they've used, so make sure you stay until the end here. So first off, let's dive into Blue Dot and what the product does. It's AI powered Chrome extension that's for Google Meet. All you have to do is press record and it's going to transcribe and summarize the notes from the meeting. Is it going to let you pay attention to the meeting and actually be a part of it rather than trying to take notes throughout the whole thing? And unlike 99% of other tools on the market, they're not going to need an AI bot to go and join that meeting. And this tool is trusted by thousands of people at companies such as the New York Times, Etsy, Wix, and more. And so it's definitely a cool product that's taking something that maybe an intern or a junior employee would have to do. And they're going to utilize AI to make that super simple, extremely fast, with no one needed to be there. We can see here, you have a meeting, you have your overview of the meeting, you're going to get a transcript and a summary that's just going to make it super easy to understand what was spoken. So let's dive into how they came up with the idea. And it started with a process that is very similar for many businesses, and that was to scratch their own itch and solve their own problem. So they were running an agency, and it was becoming a really big issue to take notes during client meetings as well as their own meetings and even if they did take notes those notes were super messy and hard to understand so once they reached a size of 15 recruitment consultants it became clear they couldn't continue in this way as each client had different needs and they had to ensure that they were using the most up-to-date information. So that's when they started exploring different tools for transcription, and most of them were using these annoying bots that would have to come into the meeting as well. And that became one of the big differentiators for Blue Dot, as there are no bots needed. Next, let's dive into how they validated the product idea. So what they did is they went and scheduled a bunch of interviews and started talking to potential customers. This let them know that people were looking for this product, but the mistake they did make was building a Zoom integration first. The reason this was a mistake is once they started offering people to actually use the tool they built, they realized that people didn't want to go and take a new tool and then test it across their entire Zoom account across their company, as if there are any issues, this could become a big problem. So instead, they went and pivoted and built a Chrome extension focusing on Google Meet calls. So up here, I have a cold email that was sent out, and this is when they're trying to get users and information for the product. And it would just be, hi name, I'm Russ, co-founder of Blue Dot, and we're doing some research and have a hypothesis that engineering teams hate writing technical documentation, and there is no way to automate it. Would you have a 15 minutes next week to schedule a research call and a quick chat with you would help us battle test a lot of their assumptions. They wanted to note that they weren't selling anything, but were genuinely looking for engineering leaders who could share their experience. Let's now head into how they went and launched the product. So they did so through a private beta, and they did so when the product was around 80% done. This let them get some really valuable feedback on how to improve the product. And they only asked them to pay once they started to get users coming back and recording more videos with it. After those first two payments, they decided it was ready to launch. And so the first thing they focused on was a product hunt launch, but unfortunately for them, it wasn't that successful. They did manage to get number five product hunt product of the day, as well as a few hundred website visits. So this didn't work out so well, but what did work well for them was getting mentioned in different newsletters. Four prominent newsletters mentioned them, 10xing the amount of traffic they were getting. And even now, they're still getting people convert after seeing these five months later. So apart from that, let's go over the three primary ways they used to get their first customers to the product. The first one was LinkedIn outreach. They're to reach out to around 200 people a day, asking them to participate in a research call. They're very specific about what they were looking for and they wanted to validate it. Overall, this resulted in around four to seven calls per week. And from there, they were able to convert two to three people to go and actually try it. This was very time consuming, but it did work at the start and it really falls along the lines of doing things that down scale, especially at the beginning. This is going to give you really valuable feedback. And so much of the challenge is really getting people to your product. So spending that time to not only speak to the customer, understand their problems and their needs, but getting them to the product to actually use it is extremely valuable. And it's going to be worth paying that extra time for. The next is newsletters. They did get those newsletter mentions after the product hunt launch. They also paid them around $100 to $200 to get mentioned in additional newsletters that brought them a good source of traffic. Lastly, it was Reddit. They did around 40 Reddit posts in total, generating around 1.5 million views and 5,000 plus upvotes. In terms of the best growth hack they've had in their product, 
and marketing, it would be Reddit for them. They had a few posts go viral, and this generated a ton of great growth and a ton of traffic for their product. In terms of the biggest lesson they've learned so far, it would be to invest in content creation. Whether that's doing SEO through articles or creating content on YouTube, these are going to help generate more traffic over the long run. You're probably not going to see a ton of users and new clicks on the very first day you post something, but this is a long-term investment, and the best time to start it is immediately. And they're actually using a combination of both articles and YouTube videos. They're going to write an article, and then they're going to create a related YouTube video, and then link that article in the YouTube video, and each one is going to help prop up the other. In terms of the five tools they're going to be using the most, obviously it's going to be Blue Dot to help record all their meetings. They also use Purish Analytics which is a Google Analytics alternative. They use Apollo for outreach, especially on LinkedIn. They use Slack for all their communication with their clients. And they use Notion for keeping all their documentation together. If you've gotten this far in the video, I'm sure you want to build your own MicroSaaS. That's why I have sneaky MicroSaaS ideas you can steal for free. There's a link in the description below, and all you need to do is enter in your email. I also have a complete course on how to build your very own MicroSaaS as well. Even if you don't have any SaaS experience or any product ideas, there is also a link for this in the description below. So make sure you check both of those out. So this is going to conclude the video on Blue Dot, a super cool product that's achieved some really good success in a short amount of time. So I'm going to leave a link in the description as well to all the source material for this article. It comes from a great post written on Zero to SaaS. And so I'll leave that in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment and also make sure you check out the channel. I have tons of SaaS stories just like this. And if you're looking for some great inspiration or lessons learned, make sure you check out all the other videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.